Hi there, Aquarius. How are you? This is Healing Hands. How is everyone doing? Aquarius, I'm sure you all are doing fantastic. Guys, we're doing your monthly reading uh, for your zodiac sign. And um, I've already done uh, my pre-meditation and um, saged my secret space. And we got some points, messages for you guys for this month. And uh, you guys know, I always say the month will start from whenever your spirit team guides you to this video, right? It's posted online and it could be a year from when it's posted. It doesn't matter. It could be a day. Whenever you're guided to, whether it was sent to you or you, you stumble uh, you know, on the video by yourself, it doesn't matter. Count a month from then. So these energies are like strong energies that... Uh, you know, relating to things that will present themselves to you or things that you'll be working through or dealing with in order to move you further along on your life path, okay? On your um, enlightenment journey, okay? So guys, this month, Aquarius, is a powerful month for you guys. It's all about your power of creation. All right, we all do have this capability inside of us, Aquarius. But this month, more than ever, you're being asked to create your own happiness, create your own reality, all right? We are all mighty creators and creatixes, if you want to call it that. Even if we don't consider ourselves to be so, we all are, Aquarius. Creativity is everyone's birthright. It's said that, you know, we all have that power inside of us, all right? And every person can create their own reality, first of all, by the way we think, what we think, what we put out to the universe, um, our expectation of love, as well as the type of love that we, love energy that we put out there, okay? Um, so, Spirit is asking you, don't be afraid to take a creative risk this month. Think outside the box on any issue, all right? And um, remember that you have the ability and the power to shift whatever paradigm that is currently unfolding in your life. The, the uh, power is within you, all right? We're not meant to be dependent on other people to help us create our reality, to help us create happiness. So I got that strong energy of you needing to create your own joy, create your own happiness, you know, love yourself. Self-love came through very strongly for um for you guys, um, Aqua, all right? So this month is a, a month of, yes, you can create whatever. You can be that magician, you know, you can do whatever you want to do with this energy this month to bring about your happiness. Don't let your happiness be dependent on another human being, all right? Fill your own cup. Align yourself to your life purpose, all right? You own your life purpose. You owe it to yourself. Your natural intuition and that genuine wisdom of your heart is here to definitely guide you this month, Aquarius. So technically, at the deepest level of our existence, loving and being loved is a major part of life, our life purpose, isn't it? Because we feel it within us all the time as our souls call for deeper connection and meaningful expression of the most powerful force in the universe, which is that power of love. So during those times in your life when you're not in a relationship or when you're experiencing relationship problems, it can be empowering to remember your greater life purpose as a being of love. Giving and receiving love is not an act of, conf you know, that is only confined to intimate relationships or intimate affairs or to family, friends. You can enjoy this beautiful energy as well anywhere you are. But remember, Aquarius, it is by choice. You have to be the one who wants it in order for you to make this happen for you. All right. Just remember that you're never alone. And in order to attract the kind of love that you want or to rekindle any kind of lost love in your situation, it's necessary for you to be, you know, to be that embodiment of love whenever that you can. Because remember, Love is the higher life purpose for all of us here on this earth plane. Now, you might ask yourself, how is it possible to be 
you know, to, to be love, to be that embodiment of love? Well, first, it's important to realize that it's not about being perfect or being a saint. Being love actually comes naturally when you take it they step back from, you know, your natural daily routines and attitudes and tune into who you really are. Your own natural intuition and the genuine wisdom of your heart will guide you towards love. So what this is just telling you is that um, the you know, Holy Spirit, the universe, God, wants you to experience yourself as love so that you can feel your higher life purpose unfold trust that love is not an external thing that you must find and keep you don't need to depend on another human being for you to be loved or for you to feel love all right i kept getting that energy of shutting down withdrawing closing off as if we are dependent on external energies to make us happy rather than finding that happiness and love inside of us Remember, love is unlimited and it is always within you. Okay? What a powerful energy this month, Aquarius. Now, another um, very strong energy that I picked up for you guys is this Rainbow Reviver. What a beautiful card. It's all about feeling good from the inside out. All right? No matter what it is that is happening or unfolding in our personal life. So, it's just saying that... Um, we need to figure a way to keep our life going, keep ourselves happy, maintain that sanity that we need and not search for happiness. Like I've been saying since we started this reading outside of yourself, when you're single, it just says, or even if you're not single, you know, if you, it just says that, you know, this rainbow, the, the rainbow reviver, this is a very powerful card. It's just saying that um, you can give yourself a rainbow reviver anytime. And it only takes a, you know, a minute to do so. So now how do you give yourself a rainbow reviver? Something that can open your heart chakra. Something that can open that flow of love from inside of you, Aquarius. Take a nice deep breath. When you find yourself sitting down somewhere, laying in bed or whatever, take that deep breath. Exhale fully. And get present in your body and the moment. Then imagine a rainbow with its seven rich luminous colors. Now picture the rainbow flowing towards you and streaming into your crown chakra on the top of your head. Filling you up and overflowing. Allow it to wash through you. Okay? Allow that powerful energy to wash through you then affirm to yourself by saying internally in your mind this rainbow is cleansing uplifting and energizing i feel peaceful positive and happy just remember that your angels and spirit guides would like you to use this simple technique whenever you need that reassurance or that universal love or hug from your guides all right and they're just telling you picture you know a rainbow and allow that energy to wash through you okay you, you can never overdo this so those are things that you can do to you know kind of align yourself with that love energy um that is that the universe has put in your um energy this month aquarius now let's see what other you know, cards we're going to be pulling up for, for you, Aquarius. I'm trying to make these readings as short as possible, but I, I, you know, I've asked Spirit to give us the most poignant messages for your, for you guys. Oh, Lord. All right. So you have a message here from Archangel Rockiel, and it says, enter higher planetary service, be a blazing light. Some of you also get, you know, are being nudged to tap into that unlimited creativity that we have inside of ourselves all right it's a month for you to dig in channel your energy you know take a risk 
do something creative, do something powerful, use that energy that you have inside of yourself, even if it's past energy from hurt, heartbreak, whatever it is, or pain or whatever, you can channel that into something positive for yourself. Now, the next card is it's from Archangel Radkale, and it says, it's time for transmutation. Carry that violet flame, all right? It's time for you to let go of whatever has held you down in the past, whatever it is that hasn't worked for you, and let it go. Spirit is saying, honor your beauty. You are beautiful, Aquarius. And this is from Archangel Jophiel. It says, thank you, Jophiel, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. When you feel love inside of you, you will feel beautiful. You will not feel inadequate. You will not feel any sense of lack, all right, or needing validation from external places, external people, people outside of us, situations outside of us, all right, for us to feel loved or feel empowered or feel like, you know, we need we need to be in a relationship or we need to feel love. And here is what is out here. It says something about karmic. So some of you may be dealing with third parties, relationship and needing to learn lessons about self-love, about pouring the love back into yourself and needing to cleanse, meditate, clear your secret space, remove negative energy. I think your last month's reading had a lot to do with some kind of dark magic and stuff. And, you know, I was just hoping to God we will not pick up any of those energies. That's why I, I refuse to pick some decks. All right. That I know my my go that route because I'm like no we just want to keep it clean all right <laughs> but there's something here about access granted as maybe somebody who is um watching you closely or monitoring your social media or maybe using fake profile and hiding and you know just watching you but there's something here also about legal you know legalities around you know paperwork being filed court you know um court documents or things that have to do with legalities that you need to like consider or um take note of in case some of you are dealing with legal issues um and i hope not and it doesn't have to be not everybody's dealing with legal issues but whatever the case may be it's something that is in your energy this month for some of you not everybody oh lord I don't know. Like we can't take all this. There's something here about fights. It says arguing all the time, not on the same page, a clash of personality. So this might be energies that we're picking up, you know, from last month or maybe new energy, but something here talking about, um, ah, Lord God, we're not taking all this. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Aquarius. Another bumpy ride of a, of a reading for you guys. Oh Lord God. Okay. Oh, I'm being asked to take all of it. So here we go. So something about a clash of personality that you're going through, you've gone through, or you may be going through something you need to watch out for. Something about stringing you along, keeping you as plan B, no intentions of committing, giving you false hope. Maybe somebody you're dealing with in your energy. Something about night out, late or last minute cancellation, up to no good with third party, working longer hours. My God, I can't believe this. All right. And another thing here about somebody keeping somebody in the dark. It says you don't know what's going on. Some of some people, some of you are feeling lost and there's fear of the unknown. And this might have strong, you know, uh, may strongly have to do with your relationship. Now, there's something about regrets. It says deeply regret their actions. They feel guilty for cheating. Try not to hurt anyone. OMG. Okay, so the next one is everybody wins. Everyone gets what they want. All parties come to an agreement. No hard feelings on all sides. So definitely you needing to let go of, if you're dealing with this, and I, I know it's not every, you know, aqua that is dealing with this. Comic situations? The heck? Thought parties? And needing to learn lessons? And needing to let go of stuff? Especially if people are not treating you right? They're keeping you in the dark. All right. You're feeling, you know, you know, like you're not a part of what people around you are doing. You're feeling isolated, feeling rejected. All right. But spirit is like everybody will win in the end. You just have to pour the love back into yourself rather than expect that love from, you know, outside of yourself. Expecting that love from somebody else. Um, focus on yourself. Wow. Focus on yourself, all right? Heal yourself is what I'm hearing. Heal yourself. 
you guys can use that rainbow retriever, all right, to fill your heart space with love, okay? Remember, love is the most powerful energy of all. Remember, you know, even Christians in the Bible says, um, love thy neighbor as yourself. Even if you're going through third parties, don't let anybody affect your energy to a point where, um, you know, where it's affecting you. Not, you know, but obviously people are, they are still connected to you one way energetically because of course they're picking up their energy and there's spying going on. People are checking you out, which means they've not totally disconnected. Maybe there is a lesson in all this that you're meant to learn, Aquarius. But here it's saying hidden feelings. They could be in denial or trying to control the situation by suppressing their feelings until they release the need to control. These feelings will build. It could be you. It could be whoever you're dealing with. I don't know what the situation is for you guys. Oh, this is crazy again. Another crazy reading. <laughs> I was trying so hard not to go there. But it looks like this, whatever this is, um, that is stemming from your previous month's reading is also pouring into this month. And something here about, you know, you your ability as a channeler. It says something about with a heightened consciousness, you have the power to channel divine messages. You have the ability to open people's eyes to the unseen. Some of you, you know, are, are seeing synchronicities. Some of you are being communicated, you know, to in your dreams by, you know, your spirit guides, your spirit teams. And spirit is asking you, open your heart, open your mind to receive those messages when they are coming through. Messages that will help you on this journey help you understand what is going on help you you know what i always say like honestly it really isn't personal when people do you know things to us involve third parties do this it's just soul contracts that we've signed with them and the spirit of course watching like how are you gonna react are you gonna learn the lesson are you gonna pour this love back into yourself are you going to dwell in the energy of you know lack of self-worth or lack of self-esteem and are you gonna dwell in that energy or are you gonna stand up for yourself are you going to stand strong and pour the energy back into yourself it says listen you have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the word. So you need to like maybe pay attention closely to, to what people are telling you. Some people may be telling you something and meaning something else. All right. Or some of us might be, be clouded by past situations that, you know, we're not even listening. When it comes to your work or career, there's something about the office here. Or money making. It says, think of the greater good than oneself to achieve a better outcome. Consider careers in administrative or management roles. Manage your time better and or delegate tasks to be more productive. So if you're if you are in any type of management role or um, administrative role, your attention is being called here to, you know, making sure that whatever you're doing is ethical, whatever you're doing is for um, everyone's greater good. OK, and some of you are being, you know, I mean, I mean, attention is being called. I know this is not for everybody that works in the office, but if you do, that's just a message, a part of this whole reading that you're going to take away as a message from spirit for yourself. OK, so you're being asked to also delegate. Don't do everything by yourself. OK, I love the way we shifted that energy from all the crap going on with <laughs> love and relationship and just shifted it to your money. And, and all that okay spirit that's what i want i, I don't want to be this energy is too heavy in my body like i feel very stiff or like my back feels very stiff at the moment i can't even like yes i'm yeah okay so here it says making peace with my today will improve my future all right and here it says it may sound odd but the fastest way to get to a new and improved situation is to make peace with your current situation by making lists of the most positive aspects you can find about your current situation you then release your resistance to the improvements that are waiting for you but if you rail against the injustice of your current situation you hold yourself in vibrational alignment with what you do not want and you cannot then move in the direction of improvement it defies law so i think this card came out for i'm not sure if it was gemini or cancer or um, I'm not even sure. Well, some other sign it came out for them, okay? So I don't know if you're dealing with um, any of those signs. You might want to go check out their videos. Oh, just check out other videos because remember, we all have different um, signs when we pull our 
astrology chart. So sometimes it could be your ascendance, maybe more powerful, I resonate better for you. Sometimes it could be your um, Venus sign, if you're really focusing on love, if you're focusing on work and, you know, um, how you take action, you might want to check your Mars sign, um, or just your sun sign, which is your zodiac sign. Now, here is your daily affirmation because I'm trying to close out this reading. I don't want to dwell in that heavy energy, not this month. I'm trying to make sure that you guys are safe. You're okay. You're getting the best um, energy coming through, Aquarius. And here is your affirmation. If you want to put this down on your phone, you want to write it down, you want to put it on, write it down and maybe stick it on on, on the on your um, refrigerator or somewhere or carry, you know, handy so you can say this every day. My workplace is a drama-free zone that brings me peace and fulfillment. So there's also something here about work for some of you I, I know it's not everybody okay so some of you there's a message around your job here okay especially if you are you know working at a place where you're not feeling fulfilled or you don't feel at peace there or you feel you need to make changes um spirit is just calling that out some of you are self-employed too so and i so that's what, how i know all this will not resonate for everybody so pick the piece of this information that um resonates for you in your present situation and just take it i'm being asked to pull this oh lord love um deck again let's see what what other messages before we close this out all right advice from spirit with regards to love for aquarius wow okay there's something here about passion it says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy all right, pour the love back into yourself, reactivate that love, you know, energy inside of yourself so that you can ignite passion. Don't let anyone make you block your feelings or emotions and, you know, relegate it to the background because love is the most poignant, most powerful energy of all. That's why we're here. Something about make the effort. Great love is what taking the steps you're guided to take. So, um, only you understand what this means. There's something about unrequited love for some of you. Uh, obviously, it's, it's showing all over here about third party, unrequited love being rejected and all that. And here it's saying there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going for some of you, not everybody. And there's something here about it's safe for you to love. It's safe for you to open your heart. It's safe for you to love yourself. It's safe, safe for you to pour the love back into your own cup. It says open your heart so that you can give and receive the highest energy of all. Wonderful um, ending to this reading, Aquarius. So remember, the, the power is in your hands this month, all right? You can ignite that love energy because when you dwell in that energy of love and vibrating only love, despite all the drama going on, it will attract people on the same vibrational frequency. If whoever you're dealing with is still low vibration, you don't want them dragging you down there and keeping you stuck, keeping you um, angry, mad, disappointed, pissed off. You want to vibrate higher. And love is the only energy that will elevate you vibrationally, all right? So that way, you that person, especially if you're dealing with somebody who is like a very strong soulmate or a twin flame, you'll be able to also help them change their energy because if you're not giving them that negativity, they too, you know, because we do have mirror effects. So they too will mirror off of that love energy that you're putting out and be able to respond back to you. So who knows? It might come back together or help them walk through their situation. Okay, Aquarius, I hope this was very useful for you. Um, please remember to check the description box below for um, information about my channel, booking a reading. Um, remember, please, Aquarius, show me some love by liking this video, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Um, I do appreciate all your energy exchange, all right? Okay, until next time, this is um, Healing Hands. Bye, Aquarius.